first female humanoid nurse robot revealed. The Hong Kong team behind celebrity humanoid robot Sophia, also known as the first robot citizen of the world, launched a new prototype humanoid nurse. Let's find out more about this great new creation. Grace, the female humanoid nurse. A new humanoid robot designed by Awakening Health, a joint venture between SingularityNet and Hanson Robotics, promises to revolutionize healthcare and provide care and companionship for elderly patients. Aptly named Grace, the robot nurse combines the precision of advanced robotics for processing and gathering accurate data in real time, with the empathy and compassion that, traditionally, only the human touch can offer. She can recognize and respond to seven human emotions and can mirror her interlocutor's facial expressions. In some meaningful ways, she is the most empathetic humanoid ever created. Dressed in a blue nurse's uniform, Grace has Asian features, collar-length brown hair, and a thermal camera in her chest to take her temperature and measure her responsiveness. She uses artificial intelligence to diagnose a patient and can speak English, Mandarin, and Chinese. Grace has been designed as a companion for elderly patients in care facilities. Her main function is relieving loneliness and improving the patient's mental health by interacting with them and providing a variety of uplifting activities, such as talking therapies and guided meditation. For example, she can listen to senior citizens' life stories, record them, and report them back to others, or she can help patients get in touch with their families digitally. Grace can also perform basic health checks like monitoring a patient's temperature, pulse, and blood pressure, and relay this back to their healthcare provider. Her advanced AI systems will also assist doctors and nurses in making more accurate diagnoses for what concerns neurodegenerative diseases. Hansen said, A human-like appearance facilitates trust and natural engagement because we are wired for human face-to-face -face interactions. Explaining how Grace can simulate the action of more than 48 major facial muscles and has a comforting demeanor designed to look a little like anime characters, often a fusion of Asian and Western styles. The cost of making the robots, now akin to luxury car pricing, will decrease once the company is manufacturing tens or hundreds of thousands of units, Hansen added. AI in Healthcare Artificial intelligence simplifies the lives of patients, doctors, and hospital administrators by performing tasks that are typically done by humans, but in less time and at a fraction of the cost. One of the world's highest growth industries, AI sector funding was up by 108% in 2021, with healthcare accounting for about a fifth of overall funding. Whether it's used to find new links between genetic codes or to drive surgery-assisting robots, AI is reinventing and reinvigorating modern healthcare through machines that can predict, comprehend, learn, and act. As payment structures evolve, patients demand more from their providers, and the volume of available data continues to increase at a staggering rate. Artificial intelligence is poised to be the engine that drives improvements across the care continuum. AI offers a number of advantages over traditional analytics and clinical decision-making techniques. Learning algorithms can become more precise and accurate as they interact with training data, allowing humans to gain unprecedented insights into diagnostics, care processes, treatment variability, and patient outcomes. AI is already being used to detect diseases such as cancer more accurately and in their early stages. According to the American Cancer Society, a high proportion of mammograms yield false results, leading to one in two healthy women being told they have cancer. The use of AI is enabling the review and translation of mammograms 30 times faster with 99% accuracy, reducing the need for unnecessary biopsies. A step into the future. The majority of AI research has focused on solving domain-dependent, highly specific tasks, Robots like Grace, on the other hand, are built with artificial general intelligence in mind. AGI's goal is that of building systems with intelligence comparable to and ultimately superior to that of the human mind, the grand dream of the forefathers of AI. The achievement of true AGI will usher humanity into the age of technological singularity, a point in time when AI entities will eventually achieve greater independence from the basics they've been trained with, giving life to a new form of superintelligence that transcends that of humans. While Grace is still far from being an independent, thinking being, she marks a meaningful step in this direction. 
Compared to big sister Sophia, Hanson Robotics' most famous humanoid, Grace has reached a more advanced degree of autonomy and shows an increased ability for generalization beyond the data she has been trained with. This allows her to interact in situations for which she hasn't been prepared, and to respond to a variety of scenarios just like a human would. Grace's hardware and lower-level operating software are based on the same Hanson Robotics platform as Sophia's. However, Sophia is intended to carry out a wide variety of different interactions, whereas Grace is specifically focused on healthcare. Her relatively specialized focus has allowed us to take a different approach to her software, which incorporates some more sophisticated AI tools that have been more straightforward to implement in her narrower realm. Grace's software leverages the OpenCog AI systems in more advanced ways than Sophia's occasional use of OpenCog, using subtle interoperation between OpenCog and a variety of neural vision and language models. This different software architecture means Grace carries out some different sorts of reasoning and perception than Sophia currently does. However, both Grace and Sophia are rapidly evolving systems. The plan is to upgrade Grace to the new OpenCog Hyperon system in late 2022 or early 2023, which should be a major step toward general intelligence. Meanwhile, SingularityNet and Hanson Robotics are launching a Sophia-themed metaverse project, which is adapting the software underlying Grace for Sophia in both her robot and avatar forms, as part of an initiative to have Sophia run a broad variety of AI systems in the metaverse. Why a robotic medical assistant? The COVID-19 pandemic has shown us that healthcare professionals are often overworked, while patients suffer because of isolation. While scientific advances are helping fight COVID-19, broader issues with the healthcare system are not going away anytime soon. New needs call for new solutions, and AI and robotics have enormous potential to transform the medical arena for the better. While AIs like Grace won't replace a patient's family or the skills of trained medical professionals, they can massively contribute to the patient's psychophysical well-being. Robots like Grace are intended as a support for medical professionals rather than a replacement, says Hanson Robotics founder and CEO David Hanson. In the future, robots will increasingly play a role in our everyday lives as part of the ongoing advance and penetration of AI. Within a decade or two, AI will be as ambient in our everyday lives as electrical power, with a subtle mix of AGI and narrow AI systems helping us out in every aspect of our daily routines, including healthcare. Developed specifically for the medical sector, Grace's launch came in the middle of the coronavirus pandemic when there was increased demand for telehealth solutions and contactless care. According to the International Federation of Robotics, or IFR, global sales of medical robots were already on the rise before the pandemic, up 28% between 2018 and 2019, and the IFR predicted the sector's value could nearly double in the next three years. Humanoid robots will play an important role where deep emotional connection is needed, but the overall activity of the AI matrix will go beyond any hardware device or interface. To guarantee that these new powerful minds will benefit society at large, it will be crucial to ensure that they are controlled and guided in a democratic and decentralized way, rather than by a single government or corporation. That's all for today's video. See you next time.